All right, so welcome back to Kinetic Energy 1085. Sitting in the truck after a workout with the heavy bag. It's a Century. Got it at Academy Sports. Get a lot of cool stuff that Kinetic Energy 1085 likes to buy from Academy when they're in stock. So again, it's a Century. It's $199. It's a great workout. Great to keep your skills up. So basically what I'm doing is a review of the bag. And then some of the video I took with a brand new GoPro, that GoPro Hero 11. Um, just the first time taking a video of it just because I want to see what a low light condition video looks like. So part of it's going to be with that GoPro 11. Other than that, <clears throat> um, like I said, just want to give you guys a review of the bag. And that's what this one's about. Semperfy. Yut! This does come condensed to this low level. It will fit in an SUV, but naturally, I used my truck. The punching bag is adjustable up to about six feet. This is just showing about the average height I use. These cams are the settings that it sits in for the levels. I used a 50 pound bag of sand, the rest was water filled to that hole, and it is extremely stable. I hit it as I would normally in any combat situation, but nothing sick. Yippee ki motherfucker. You ever wonder why boxers are always boxing like, <laughs> breathing like that? Because if you don't breathe like that, you're going to pass out. Those gloves, you better wear them or you will destroy your hands. Not that you'll break anything, but you will rip skin off even with a smooth surface like that. Those gloves, wife got for me Christmas many, many years ago. They were about $50. Your fingers are exposed, but they have padding. They are training gloves. Like I said, you better wear them and you better breathe when you're hitting a bag or you will pass out. Had a buddy teach me years ago how to box because I used to get beat up as a kid because I was pretty skinny and small. I'm only five foot nine. And then uh, had a sister's boyfriend that taught me how to box when I was 15. Then a Cambodian friend that taught me a little bit of martial arts, which helped paid off in the long run. <laughs> Again, we all get a little rusty over time. Feel free to make fun of me. Add some funny comments. <laughs> it's all good. Just a demonstration of basically what, you know, your average male height. Well, I'm a little shorter than that. So I'm 5'9", 180 pounds, and it's, I'm hitting it as I normally would in any kind of street fight situation. You can see it's stable. Nothing's ripping. Nothing's <laughs> breaking, so, so far, so good. Boxer or martial artist, you'll be surprised at how quickly you get rusty, even with weightlifting. When you go several months or even several years without keeping up with your skills, I try to maintain both the hand-to-hand -hand combat skills and the weightlifting and the cardio just to stay fit because uh, I won't say how old I am, but I am considered over the hill.
again, this is a great cardio exercise. You'd be surprised. When they come, I will stun my run. Stun my run. I'll never be afraid. Oh, oh, I didn't know what it is. And this is when my kids came out asking me silly questions. God fucking damn it!